It is a labor-intensive process to properly prepare a canvas before applying oil paint. Before the invention of acrylic paint and due to the slow drying of oil paint, it would take several weeks to prime and gesso canvas. With the coming of the Industrial Revolution, manufacturers began to mass produce pre-primed and pre-gessoed canvases. Because this saved artists a great deal of time and effort, most artists were happy to use this type of canvas. But like a lot of things that are mass produced, over the decades the quality of mass produced canvas has gradually declined. Artists have been using this type of canvas for over 100 years now, and today most artists, even most professionals, use mass produced canvas in lieu of preparing their own. I believe that this is something that very few artists give much thought to. However, we must realize that a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. The canvas, or some other type of support, is the foundation for the painting. Even the greatest painting, if painted on an inferior support, will not last longer than its foundation. portrait is not simply a likeness of a human figure. It is an image that captures the persona of a unique individual. A portrait will always say something about the person's soul. Our eyes tell this story more than any other part of our anatomy. The lamp of your body is your eye. When we seek to discover who a person truly is, we look into their eyes. While my goal is to speak of the man's stature, the woman's beauty, or the innocence of a child, I also aim to capture the individual's persona. In doing so, I first ascertain the uniqueness of my subject's eyes. Our hands are a marvelous wonder of God's creation. They tell a great deal about us. Our mood is often expressed through our hands. When I am able to include hands in the composition, I purposefully use them to speak more about my subject's stature, beauty, or innocence. A fine art portrait should contain a certain amount of detail. The artist uses detail to command attention. As a portrait artist, I always put the most detail into the eyes first, face second, and move out from there. When hands are included, the amount of detail should not be overbearing as to draw attention away from the face. The significance of the hands is to reflect the posture and accurate structure.